let's talk about ASCII. ASCII it stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Now computers only understand numbers. Alright? Now if computers are only able to understand numbers, how is it that we're able to represent how is it we're able to see letters on a computer? Now this is because each character is given us a particular binary value. And these values are mapped based on the ASCII table. So there's what you call an ASCII table that maps a character such as the letter A, the at sign, slash, etc. They are linked to a particular binary value. Now, for your CSEC exams, what you would be required to do is to manipulate the table and find a subsequent character based on the one you are given. Now they are in chronological order. So the letter A would be lower than the letter C. The higher you go in the alphabet, the larger the binary value would be. So you can use this and your knowledge of binary conversion and addition and subtraction to manipulate this ASCII table. Now let me show you an example. Now the character C on the ASCII table is equivalent to 100011. This is C. Now let's say I want you to, I want you to find the letter F. So what's F? If this is C, what is F? Now you will need to know your alphabet. <laughs> which I think most people know you will need to know how to convert to binary and you will need to know how to add in binary and subtract in binary now you depending on what you're required to do then you will need to subtract as well now let me work with C and F just to begin with so I have C now after C I have D E and F. So this is where I am, and I'm supposed to find the value for this character. Now, this character is three places away. This character F. Is three places away from C in the alphabet. Now it is not only three places away, but it's three places higher in the alphabet because the letter F comes later down in the alphabet. So that's three. I will need to add three to this in order to find the value for F because remember it's it's in a certain order. It's counting going down. Now. I can add this and this together because this is in decimal and this is in binary. So I need to change this to binary. Now 3 in binary is 1 1. Now I know that from the top of my head. Now if it's a larger number, let's like say I give you A and I want to find um, X, which is way down, then the number would be higher and you would need to convert. But for just for the ease of explanation and for your understanding, I use a, a, a small number like 3. So it will be easy for you to understand all your. Okay? So after I convert 3, I get 1 1. Now what I need to do, I need to add 3 to this. And it will give me F. So I say 1, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1, 1 plus the 3. Keep in mind that I add it because F comes after C in the alphabet. So I'm going down. I'm going up rather. So I say what's 1 plus 1? That's 2. 2 in binary is 1, 0. 
Mark up the zero, put it there. Take one, put it up above. One plus one plus one, that's three or one one. Mark up one, put it there. Take this, put it above. One plus nothing, that's one. Then I can just bring down these other numbers. So zero, 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 and one. So this would be my result. This would therefore be F. So F would be equal to, oops, don't forget the base, one, zero, 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 zero. So this is F. Now, if I was at C and I asked you for A instead of F, no, it's it's different. I can't go and add. I will have to subtract because A comes before C in the alphabet. So I have B here and it's A. So I am here and I want to find A. So that's one, two places. So I need to subtract instead of add. If I add two to this, then I will get the value for E. I need to subtract in order to get the value for A because it comes before. So let's work that. minus 2 which is 1 0 2 in binary is 1 0 base 2 don't forget never forget to indicate your base 1 subtract 0 it's 1 1 minus 1 0 and I just bring down the others 0 0 0 0 one so this would be a and there we have it so I started with C they gave me the value for C and they asked me what is F F comes after C so I need to add the number of spaces in binary to find the value for F if I was dealing with A then I would need to subtract because A comes before C in the alphabet. Now a common mistake people usually make is starting at C when they are counting. So here I started at C so I need to start to come from the next letter. So I don't say 1, 2, 3 and 4. I never start with the letter I am given. I start with the letter that is next. Alright? So please don't make that mistake. 